Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. It is time for the AFC Confederation World Cup qualifiers predictions, guys. We're going to be breaking down the nine groups, telling guys which two nations will qualify home and away, round robin style, and the top two every group, man. So I want to know your guys' predictions in the comments below, section below, guys. And I'll tell you what, guys, whoever gets the most correct, I might give them a shout out. And, then, and when I react to these AFC predictions videos, so I highly encourage you to comment, guys. And while you're down there, guys, please remember to like and subscribe. I really want to see this video grow. And, guys, I'm going to set a very new ambitious like target. I want to see this reach 25 likes. Okay, 25 likes is today's like target. And that will be a great like target to reach. So, hopefully, we can reach that within, you know, seven days. And, of course, this fixture is what's to start taking place on Thursday and Friday next week, respectively. Anyways, I think that's enough introduction. Let's just go ahead and get started with Group A. So Group A we have here is Qatar, India, Kuwait, Afghanistan. I'm predicting just top two, by the way, so I'm not going to, you know, rabble on too much about the third and fourth because that doesn't really matter. One thing's for sure is that Qatar will top this group. Even though they have they were abysmal in the World Cup, I still feel like Qatar is a very good nation against Asian nations, and that is what they thrive against. So they're still, I still think they're going to do it. Now for second place, it was very tricky. It came down for me between India and Kuwait. And I just give the slight edge to India. I just feel like for me, India, for me, while they may not have... I, th I think Kuwait actually probably have the better team, to be honest with you. I think India have the better players. And I just feel like for India, they have to show up now. It is now or never. Because if they don't do this, it's over, man. It is over for me in terms of their World Cup aspirations. Because remember, guys, this could be Sunil Chetri's last international tournament. And this could be monumental for India. And I'm really hoping India can do this. I'm really, really hoping they can. And I think this will be a great opportunity. I'm going to go with them just about to do this, though. Because we know they are te they tend to disappoint in the last couple of years. Next up is Group B, guys. Oh, sorry. Group B. Uh, we have here, it is um, Japan, Syria, North Korea, Myanmar. For me, Japan should top this group. No questions asked. They were the best Asian nation at the World Cup. I don't even think I have to explain. They're just way too good. It's, the players they have on their team is unbelievable. And the second place, I have a Syria. I think Syria, for me, are a good World Cup quality level. This team knows how to get to the last stage. And we saw how good they were in the um, the World Cup qualifiers. So, um, I just feel like, for me, they have enough quality to reach the final round. Okay, and for North Korea and Myanmar, they're going to fall short. Group C, we have South Korea, China, Thailand, and Singapore. For me, South Korea, should, with no question, should be top in this group. They are way, way too good for this group. They are... They have too much individual players. I like I can the players they have is ridiculous. You know, the quality of players they have it is simply too good. As for second place, for me it's between China and Thailand. Singapore for me I would love to see them do it. I just think for me Singapore for me I don't think they have the individual quality and I feel like for me they tend to struggle against. I was kind of disappointed how they did in the first round against Guam. So I think Singapore could do better, but um you know that's why I don't think they'll do it. For me, I'm going to give the slight edge to China. And the reason why I give it to China is be, even though China have been really, really underwhelming the last couple of years, I still feel like those players for China will still, will still come crucial. And I feel like for me, Thailand is going to come very close. I just feel like for me, China will have the individual quality over Thailand in that regard. And that's why I think China will pull through in second place. Group D, we have Oman, Kyrgyzstan, Malaysia, Chinese Sape. I think Oman should, without a doubt, top this group. They were um, fantastic. I believe they reached the last stage, the Asian World Cup qualifiers last time, and they were fantastic. And remember, they beat Japan a 1-0 away. Uh, for this one, guys, I'm going to go with upset. I think Malaysia will do it just about. I have not been that impressed with Kyrgyzstan. I think they've kind of declined the last couple of years, and I think Malaysia, for me, they are on the rise of football, and I was really, really impressed with what they did in the last World Cup qualifying cycle. And I think Chinese Sape will just be there to make up the numbers. Sorry to say. Um, group E, we have here is Iran, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Hong Kong. For me, Iran, without a doubt, should be top in this group. They are one of the best Asian nations, and I expect them to fully do so. As for second place, I'm going to go with Uzbekistan. I think Uzbekistan have too much quality. I think they're a very underrated Asian nation. I think people need to respect them more, and I think they have good players, man, that can come to the rise of the occasion. As for Turkmenistan, Hong Kong, I think they'll disappoint. Group F, man, this, in my opinion, is a group of death. This is the group of death, guys, and I'm going to be really looking forward to see how this group pans out because this one, for me, any of these four teams could honestly genuinely progress. I don't think there's a team that's going to be there as a whooping boys or just, you know, just there to make up the numbers. I think Iraq, without a doubt, show, though, should be top of this group. They have too much quality players, and I think they should do this. As for second place, and this is where I'm going to pull out a major surprise, and some of you guys might even be surprised I'm saying this. 
and might think I'm crazy for saying this. I'm going to go with Indonesia to pull through in second place. I feel like for me, Vietnam is the favorites to do so. I just feel like for me, Indonesia is going to surprise. They're gonna, it's going to be a big surprise, big, big upset. And who knows, maybe even Philippines can do it. I'm going to go with Indonesia, though. Somebody just tells me they're going to they're gonna rise. And for me, Indonesia have the best chance from the nations from round one of the Asian qualifiers. Group G, for me, I think uh, we have Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Tajikistan, Pakistan. For me, without a doubt, Saudi Arabia should be the top of this group. They have too much quality players. And then I'm going to go with Jordan in second place. I think Jordan should be able to do it. They have so many. They have good European-based players playing in Europe, I believe. All right, in the Group H, the penultimate group we have here is UAE, Bahrain, Yemen, and Nepal. I think UAE, without a doubt, should be top of this group. They have too much quality um, to do so, and they have a very good goal scorer named Ali Makbout. He's a top international goal scorer, so I think he'll do it. And although I will say that though, I think the team is they need to get some more younger players. That is kind of one concern I do have for them. Uh, that I think Bahrain will pull through in second place. I just think they're a very underrated Asian nation. I think they could always give a good fight in the Asian Cup, as we've seen. Uh, the finally group I we have here is Bangladesh. This is obviously my country's group. I'm sorry to say with Bangladesh guys, we are not fit. We are finishing last in this group. I don't think we're gonna do it, um, and I think we'll be uh, very disappointing. Australia, for me, should top in this group, though. They have way too much quality, um, and I think they should be able to do it. And for me, second place between Palestine and Lebanon. This was very, very close, guys. Very, very close. And I'm very, very torn for which team I put in second place. Ultimately, though, I'm going to go with Lebanon. Because for me, I think Lebanon, for me, just have the indiv have the quality. And even though I feel like they haven't been that great and they kind of lucked out the last time around, I just feel like, for me... They, they're, they're just going to scrape through somehow. And for Palestine, I just feel like for me, with the political situation going on at the moment, I don't even know how the country will fare and that kind of stuff. And even though they have some good players playing in Europe, I just feel like for me, Palestine is going to let themselves down. But we'll see, though, because it's very, very close. And I don't even know at the time of this recording this video how, well, like, how will, like, will Palestine be able to still play their games? I don't, I don't know. I don't want to get too political, though, so... You know, please keep this sports related in the comments below. I greatly do appreciate it. And yeah, so anyways, those are my predictions for the AFC, man. So I did a quick fire predictions for each group, guys. So I want to know what you guys' thoughts in the comments below. Do you guys, do you, have, do you guys have any upsets? I'm sure there there's a few upsets you guys could have probably put there in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll be reading you through your comments and um, obviously liking the ones I did enjoy and hearting those and maybe replying to the ones I really am in, in, interested in. So remember, guys, to like and subscribe. And um, yeah, comment below your thoughts, comment below, guys. And um, yeah, as I said, guys, I'm really looking forward to see how the predictions age. Remember, guys, to become a member of the channel to get access to members' videos, member streams. Also, going to other pops in the description below to get um, to get to join my social medias in the description below. And yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. So I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.